Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in York. We're going to have a wander around, see how much of it we can get around. Uh, we're hoping to have a little look up on the walls, which is behind us there, and hopefully give you a look down in the shambles as well. So we'll see what we can get around and we'll take you along with us. Let's go. So we've come up through the Monk's Bar entrance and we're now up on top of York's city walls. Just see a glimpse of York Minster there. Very impressive, hopefully we get a better view of it from a bit further along of these walls. Now that is definitely a better view of the minster there. Well, there's lots of little bits of info around. Just read a little plaque back there that this particular section of the wall we're walking on right now was restored, believe it or not, in 1889. Well done then. I don't know if you get the idea from this camera, but there would have been a moat around here. Just about make out where it used to be. No water in it, obviously at the moment. just about hear the bells of York Minster in the background there. Unfortunately, at the same time, an ambulance is going past there on the road below. Never mind, I did try. Really nice to see the bluebells there. So far, we're enjoying this little walk along. It is quite busy, to be fair. It's a Tuesday. Well, I didn't expect it to be absolutely packed, but there's a lot of people enjoying walking along these walls like the rest of Definitely need to clean the umbrellas a bit. We've just come down inside what appears to be a Another gatehouse. Uh, it looks like we go outside again here, so let's see where we go. Oh, it's actually the northwestern gate of the Roman fortress. Uh, saying that the saying the foundations date from around AD from around AD 300. There's been a gatehouse in this spot for nearly 2,000 years, and Roman legions would have marched northwards to what is present-day Scotland from here. There's a little really interesting plaque there about that used to be an old stone yard and is now the toilets. Well, we just better walk over the river, coming down Museum Street. We just go over the bridge, over the river there, and hopefully pick up the rest of the walls. So that over there, Lendal Tower and it dates from around about 1300 and one of the features of it there would have been a defensive chain across the river here to stop I assume boats raiding into the city so I think it's very interesting. Just 
just behind me here, the little tower you can see is Barker Tower. And uh, there was a chain stretched across the river from there to Lendl Tower opposite. And that was apparently to stop boatmen entering the city without paying a toll. So, money making ideas. Having come across the river, we picked up the next little bit of the walls. It's not a complete joined lap round, so you do lose them from time to time. Um, I'm guessing it would have been with various gatehouses. So you do have to try and work out where the next bit of wall is, which we uh, we eventually did. So anyway, we're on the next bit of wall. Very good. So we've gone past a very, very fine looking hotel behind me. It's probably why it's called the Grand. Right, let's press on along this wall. What I will say is you've got to be a little bit careful along certain bits of it. I don't know if you can just see some of it. There are no railings on the one side, so if you get two people that are not concentrating when they pass each other, one of them is going to fall off. So be careful, and especially if you have got kids, keep an eye on them. Just see a crossover towards the railway station there and of course york has a famous railway museum we're not going to get a chance to do that today because we haven't got the time but that's well worth a visit so i've been told so we'll keep that on our list of things to do Just coming through Micklegate. We've just gone past Micklegate there, and uh, just want to let you know, in case you do come, you can take an hour-long guided tour of a section of the wall, which might be of interest to some of you. Just coming up on another corner and this tower here is called Bitch Daughter Tower. This is one of the many interval towers that we're stood on top of. Well, it looks like we're dropping down off the walls again because I think we've got to go across the river again. So hopefully we don't lose the walls this time. Right, well, that's the walls done. We're just going to have a little walk through to the shambles now and uh, see what we can see in there. We're just coming into the shambles a bit now, which originally was where all the butchers would have been in the old city. And the cobble street down here is made like that with the drainage on the side. So all the blood from all the various animals being butchered could drain down, which must have been a beautiful place to walk back in the day.
don't expect to come to York and it not be busy especially in this area of the city down in the shambles there very nice we just popped into a little road called Little Shambles and there's a, a nice little market happening so we're gonna have a little walk around the market because we do like a market It was a bit busy down that street, wasn't it? <laughs> oh look, Mickey Mouse bags. Shout out Kerry and Kat, you know who you are. Right, I think we're going to leave you there folks. Hope you've enjoyed that little look around the city walls, which are up there. We did the lap and then we dropped down in and had a look at the shambles, didn't we? That was really we good. Did, yeah. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's very, very busy, but it's always going to be busy. If you are going to come, just bear that in mind. It's never going to be quiet. If you've enjoyed it, you know what you got to do. Give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you somewhere next time. Say goodbye, Kim. Goodbye, Kim. Goodbye, Kim. <laughs>